Hey guys, Chloe here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I styled my Urbosa wig. So Urbosa is in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. She is the Gerudo champion and she has giant hair. So this was going to involve a lot of wefts. So to start this wig, I went to Arda for a nice candy apple red Le Tigre classic. And I also got a, a long ponytail clip as well because I didn't think the Tigre would have enough. So first, before I started messing with all the fibers is I sprayed them with a silicone spray. It's gonna help keep it from getting tangled. I use mane and tail, it is wonderful. And once that's all like brushed out and in all the wefts, I started ponytailing it. The higher you go up the wig, the better, um, cause it'll, you know, help keep on your head. I ended up uh, relocating the ponytail to be more towards the center top, but uh, it just seemed like a big pain to film myself doing it twice. So <laughs> this is the one you get to see. Um, but in order to kind of stretch it out, I went and pinned it with, you know, little sewing pins everywhere. And I left a little bit of the bangs loose so that I can sculpt her bangs later on. And the fun part, so she has a lot of volume, right? So my solution for creating volume was not just to tease it insane amounts, but to also kind of curl it. I kind of like to think that the Gerudo, who are a desert dwelling people, would have like, um, like kind of like waves to their hair. Um, so the easiest way to do that is you can either use rollers of some kind that have to be able to withstand boiling water or you can just braid it in a lot of little braids. Uh, braiding it, the ponytail bits I wanna say took a half hour just for the wig itself. Not entirely fun. Um, I also had to brush out most of the strands as I was braiding them because as I would braid towards the top, the bottom would start to get all tangled and knotted and it sucked. So it was a long process. It's, it, it looks so fast right here. It was not fast. <sighs> but yeah, so once I had a finished braid, I just kind of like threw it towards the bang area just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. So much hair. I should cut this down. Why am I still doing this? This is just the worst. <laughs> No, you know what? I'm gonna leave it in. Y'all have to suffer. You have to know. Am I done yet? Oh my gosh. This is like half the video. It's just me braiding this stupid wig. <laughs> just braiding. I think there's like two full minutes of just braiding. This is the last one, guys! Kind of reminds me of dreads. Alright, and this is the ponytail clip. Definitely going to cut this down. <laughs> or not. I don't know. Think about it. Yeah, the ponytail clips are very long. Um, they are, let's just click on this. These are 40 inches, 101 and a half centimeters long. Know that, just know that. Oh, another reason I went with Arda versus Epic and why I chose their classic instead of their Silky is because it is easier to tease and create volume and for feature reference like spikes and stuff um otherwise epic is much closer and tends to get here much faster <laughs> they're a drive away from me it's very nice 
I also went with the candy apple red because it was it's kind of like pinkish reddish. It's not like a vibrant fire engine red. I didn't want that. Don't really like that shade for most things. But I have noticed that I have a lot of red in my life. Hey look, Urbosa's on the chair. Judging me. She doesn't believe. Maybe someday I'll finish. Sorry guys, this is it. This is the rest of the video. Braiding. Unbraiding. Someday we'll get to a fun part, and I think probably not. I wouldn't want to get your hopes up like that. Oh, this is the last one! Yay! Technically you can make the braids bigger, but the it just won't help. So to create the curls in it, I stuck the entire ponytail clip and just the braids of the wig into a sink of boiling hot water for 10 minutes. And then I let it sit overnight and dry in the bathtub. And then you can take all the braids out. They look so nice and wavy. This is a good way in general just to add waves to your wig. But I didn't need waves. I need volume. So all those pretty little waves are gonna be destroyed. It looked pretty once. <laughs> nah, it still looks pretty. Almost done. I don't think I filmed how I did the the ponytail clip though, because it was like redundant. Topher. <laughs> Alright, so then once it's all braided, unbraided, I guess, I then go and brush it out. The more you brush it out, the more kind of frizzy it's going to look. Which the frizz is what helps make it so voluminous. Is voluminous. No. Who cares? English is a weird language. Once it's all nice and brushed out, then the next step can occur. The floofing. So starting at the bottom, I used a teasing comb and just started back combing everywhere. On the top side, on the underside, just back combing everywhere. And you can see that it is starting to look frizzy, which is what I want. I don't want it to just look nice and wavy because in all actuality, Urbosa does not have wavy hair. It's just very thick, um, which is also one of the reasons why I did not curl the bangs. Fuzzy, fuzzy. I also, not that I uh, showed it, but I had to sew three wig clips into this wig, one on each temple Kind of area and then one towards the very top of my head. I don't have a whole lot of hair uh, by my hairline. I have very thin hair so I put them where my hair is. So now I'm teasing the bangs and trying to create her nice swoopy thing. And here's part two of the swoopy thing. It's just a lot of brushing and hairspray. And so I took the ponytail clip after all this time and cut it into three chunks once I took it off of the clip itself and then had to brush it back out because I kind of messed it up pulling it apart. And then I took some extra wefts, uh, it, it was hair from the bangs, and I created them into little wefts that I could make a false hairline out of. That way it looks smoother because you can kind of tell on the right that uh, the hair on the side is very not laying down right. So once that was all done, I took the first chunk of the ponytail clip and glued it directly to the top. The ponytail clip's uh, hair is nice and not super frizzy looking because it wasn't there for that part. So this is mostly just to make it look nice and then to ponytail it in the appropriate location. And I put the headband thingy on it. Mess with the bangs some more. Try to get it to curl. This 
sometimes you gotta pin it to make it curl. They're very stubborn. All right, and then the last two thirds of the pointo clip, I sewed to ribbon so that I can wrap it around either side of the base and make it longer. And that's how I made my herbosa wig. Thank you.